Hey YouTube, Bernie's back here. Today I want to show you how you can record your screen in OS X. I'm using Yosemite, but this works on the older ones too. So right now, since you can hear me and you can see my screen, that means I'm already recording. And right now I'm using a program called ScreenFlow. That program is a hundred bucks on the Mac App Store, and it's really good if you want to edit your video after you've recorded it and uh, add uh, cool stuff to it. It's kind of like a small video editing program with uh, a recording feature. But what I'm gonna show you is a free way that everyone can do. Since everyone that has a Mac has QuickTime Player if you haven't removed it. So if you just search for that in Spotlight or if you have it down here on your bar in your dock just open it up. You're gonna get this, where you can choose a file to play. But what we wanna do is record our screen, so we're gonna go to File and click on New Screen Recording. If you do that, we can uh, start recording directly. We can also choose a microphone we wanna use here. And we have another option to show mouse clicks in recording. So let's start just to try to show what it looks like. So I click here and it will tell me that if I click I will record full screen. If I drag holding my mouse and drag a square or something it will, re it will only record that part. I end my recording by clicking the stop button in the menu bar, which you can see up here. So let's just click. And it is now recording. If I want to turn it off, I just click it right up here. So let's do that and take a look at it. As you can see, you can see my whole screen here. Let's listen to it. And it is now recording. If I want to turn it off, I just click it right up here. So let's do that and take a look at it. So as you can see, this is a very easy way to record your screen. And it doesn't look bad. And you can share this on YouTube just like any video. Or you can add it to a video editing software and do whatever. But yeah, that's an easy and free way to record your screen. And like I said, if you want to use something more complicated or useful for people that do YouTube videos like me, I use ScreenFlow because I can edit the video directly afterwards. Here you just get the video file and you have to get another program to do anything with it if you don't want to upload it just like it is to YouTube, of course, or share it like that. Anyway, I'll see you next time, guys.